So Francis Ngannou did a lot better than most people thought he would do against Tyson Fury, and we're going to be talking about how I believe it was largely due to his MMA skills translating into boxing, particularly in the clinch. So here we see Francis attack Fury in the corner, and Fury smartly dodges and goes to initiate a clinch. Francis notices this and is prepared to show off his clinch skills. First we notice he pulls his right side back away from Fury's arm and also sticks out his left arm to block Fury. This not only wedges Fury away from him to keep distance, but we notice he smartly flares his elbow out to get on top of Fury's glove to control it. Now Fury is going to have a hard time clinching with only one free hand. You can't really see it here, but Francis is flaring out his right elbow too to make Fury's arm reach even further to try to get his arm around him. The further Francis' body is, the harder it is for Fury to get a strong clinch. And as Fury pushes forward looking to secure the clinch, Francis takes the opportunity to move to a more advantageous position. Francis transitions to head control, but more specifically what's known as a tie clinch in MMA. This is an extremely advantageous position in MMA because you could pull the head down to land knees, punches, and elbows, but it is also very useful in boxing too. We notice Francis' arms are on the inside of Fury's arms, giving him much stronger control, and this allows him to pull away from Fury to prevent the clinch and also give him space to punch, all while controlling Fury's head. And as Francis is pulling away, he takes the opportunity to land a right uppercut and the right hook around the guard. Here Francis attacks again, and Fury attempts to smother it with a clinch. We notice Francis again goes for head control with his left arm, which allows him to pull away and pull Fury's head down to prevent the clinch. And with the space created by this, he pulls Fury's head down right into a right uppercut. And from there he turns Fury to put him closer to the corner and even switches his head control to a wedge to push Fury away from him. Here we see Fury attack with a southpaw straight left and initiate a clinch. He gets head control on Francis with his left arm and Francis responds by using his free left hand to wedge and try to break the clinch. Francis is very strong since he needs it for MMA, and this strength will help him push off in this situation, but notice how he pushes off, he flares his elbow out again to widen Fury's arm so that he can't grab onto Francis' body and pull him close. This subtle detail with the elbow helps him break a clinch where Fury had head control, and with the space created, Francis just barely misses with a huge right hand. So again we see Fury try to wrap Francis up, and he manages to get his arms around him. However, Francis already set up the tie clinch again with head control. With this control, Francis is able to pull Fury's head down and pull his body back to break the clinch as you see. Then, since he's still in control of Fury's head, he's able to just turn him again, and this throws Fury so far off balance it sends him reeling all the way to the corner. Again, the tie clinch isn't the most common inside fighting technique in boxing, but as you can see, it has its uses, and definitely threw Fury off in that he didn't have an answer to it. And lastly, Fury ducks under a right hand and looks to clinch again, but Francis meets him with a forearm wedge to maintain distance. Again, Francis pulls away as he pushes Fury's head, and once again, the flared elbow prevents Fury from being able to tie Francis up or control his arm. Ideally, Fury would have the most control in the clinch if he could wrap his arms around Francis' arms and body, but the flared elbow makes him too wide to wrap up. This allows Francis to fire off another right hand, which Fury just manages to roll under. But when Fury smothers again, Francis switches from the forearm wedge to the tie clinch, which Fury hasn't been able to stop yet. Except, he only uses his left arm this time so that his right arm is free. From there, Francis holds Fury's head and slams in a right hand. And just like before, Francis then turns Fury to throw him off balance and then continues the assault.
And as always, thank you to all my GOAT tier patrons, Jason Mahinen, Grant Gabriel, Albert Chen, Gosla Geza, Mark Price, Marshall Bott, Jesus Galindo, John Stroll, Justin Butler, Clay Cox, Makia O'Sullivan, as well as my channel members, Lucas Miller and Hot Pocket Maestro. You guys keep the channel going, as well as the rest of my patrons and everybody watching today. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you all for watching.